iBorder Control is an intelligent border control system that's being developed as part of the Horizon 2020 programme funded by the European Union with 13 partners across Europe. The idea is we want to create faster and safer borders for the general public as they travel across Europe. It features lots of new innovative technologies. Part of that is the automated deception detection system that's been developed at Manchester Metropolitan University that uses new artificial intelligence techniques. A person who will uh, engage in this system will actually first of all do some pre-traveller registration online through a system and as part of that they will be interviewed by an avatar border guard. This border guard will ask a series of questions typical to what you would see when you cross borders in Europe by real border guards. What is your surname? My surname is Khan. And each one will be analysed by our automated deception detection system to see whether a person is lying or not for a particular question. How does it do this? Well, it uses non-verbal behaviour, very, very fine-grained micro gestures. So we're not looking at things like smiling or frowning, we're looking at very small movements such as an eye moving left or right. So we use this and combine it together with a risk score um, and we use this in order to say for a particular question whether someone's lying or not. Of course, it's not just our product, our particular application that gives the risk store. It actually combines within the system to give an indication to the border guard when the person comes to the border whether or not they should go through straight away or they need to be asked a few individual questions. So it's a human in the loop system and I think this is very, very important to stress. It does not make a full automated decision, it gives a risk score for each individual traveller. At the moment, we're quite lucky that we've managed to do quite a lot of laboratory tests, not only just here at Manchester Metropolitan University, but at our partners' offices across Europe. Our next stage now is to do a number of pilots in a number of countries, including with our user groups, the Hungarian National Police, the Latvian Border Guard Police, Tranos in Greece, and also Kima. So we're looking forward to starting these possibly at the start of November um, and getting some additional data and of course we can enhance our systems through that.